Hi, everyone. So out of the 300 million people in the United States, 50 million of them are food insecure. So what this means is that they are unable to provide either enough food or enough nutritious food for themselves over the span of a year. Food insecurity affects a wide range of demographics, from families with young children to low-wage workers to the elderly to uh, single parents. As you can see from this map, this is a nationwide problem, as not even a single county is completely free from hunger. This summer, we partnered with Feeding America, which is a national nonprofit who, which is working to end hunger in the US. Feeding America has identified that 8.6 billion meals a year would be needed to provide uh, to ensure that no one goes hungry. They're currently working with a network of 200 food banks uh, to collect food donations from big food producers such as PepsiCo and Nestle and supermarket chains like Walmart and Target. They then distribute this food to thousands of small agencies and programs across the country. In this way, they're able to provide 3.6 billion meals a year. But they're aware that they're currently approaching the capacity of what can be obtained from these two sources. So Feeding America is looking to expand to other ways of covering the remaining meal gap of 5 billion meals. Restaurants are an as yet largely untapped source of potential food donations. So um, there are millions of restaurants in the country and prioritizing which ones to contact first is an extremely important task because building each partnership takes time and resources. Our goal this summer was to help Feeding America by compiling a comprehensive list of restaurants to contact and identifying restaurants that have a high likelihood of being a really strong donor. We built a system that collects information from a variety of sources, including time series data on how a restaurant's ratings have fluctuated over time, um, free text data from customer reviews, business data about the number of employees, the annual sales, uh, the business model, and a variety of other data sources. Um, and using this wealth of raw information, we use machine learning to categorize each restaurant in terms of a handful of human understandable attributes um, that are highly indicative of how much the restaurant might donate. So using a web interface to our system, a, a food industry professional can use their expertise to set the weights on these different attributes, um, producing a score for each restaurant that represents how much food it might be able to donate. These scores can then be used to produce a prioritized list for any geographic region of which restaurants are the best to contact first. And these lists can be downloaded as, as a CSV, which makes it very easy for Feeding America to then distribute the information to its 200 member food banks. It's our hope by helping Feeding America, it's our hope that by helping Feeding America build these partnerships more quickly and efficiently, we bring them one step closer to ending hunger. Thanks for your time. <laughs>